Good morning. All right, we're gonna work on some slow and fast training. And we're gonna talk about the, um, the advantages to mixing up slow, fast, and then of course there's just like the right speed at which to perform. Um, let's say we're gonna do a form. And we're gonna go, we're gonna start with the idea of slow. Slow motion training is awesome and much harder than it sounds or looks. Uh, Master Heskett the other day was discussing in, in his class the idea of having a dial and not a switch, right? Where you can decide, hey, this, this situation, particularly in training, calls for me to dial up, you know, 46% of my, my power, my speed, my intensity. Let's say I'm sparring a, a kid or I'm, like I'm trying to help somebody or I'm trying to break down my form on something. I, I need to have a dial. It can't just be zero or 100. If you see the, the people that particularly like grown up men, like if you watch them spar, a lot of times that they have the zero or a hundred thing and they just have such a hard time making improvement um, if they only have the two levels. So you, you got to be able to have the dial and I think slow motion training is a great way uh, to develop that. Now slow motion is very funny to watch people think that they're moving in slow motion and what they're really doing is either a just not they're just like okay you're just going fast or uh they're moving fast in chunks right okay here's my slow motion no what i want is smooth motion there's an old saying that says uh slow is smooth and smooth is fast and i think that that really is true if you if you are unable to train in a slow smooth way i think your ultimate expression of speed is really going to suffer because you don't you don't understand the relaxation that's required you don't probably have the strength that's required to truly be um be fast so let's do slow motion uh form and i would challenge you even to get the steps to be slow so we're here, ready stance. I'm gonna start. Tired of doing form one for all of these uh, demonstrations, so we'll do. Uh, I'll do uh, form four. We'll do a little victory today. All right. So, I'm gonna tip that down, hopefully without falling. Okay. We're ready stance. We'll roll this up. So then, uh, I'm gonna go to the side and open guard. And I'm thinking about my twist, sliding my foot out. Everything stops at the same time. Now, when you go to throw kicks, that's where the real challenge comes in, to be up on one leg, use that leg strength, and to move smoothly through the range of motion. So I'm gonna throw this double side kick. Hello. Pull back in, see it's not jerky. I, I'll get this cross for my next technique while I'm rechambering. Land in the side jaw. Let's you really think through some good technique things like your twists and your crosses. Wrapping up. Inside block. Okay. You see with that kick, I could have gone, okay, slow motion side kick. Huh. 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 Slow motion, right? No way. That was really fast. It just... It just was mechanical and broken into chunks. Have to be able to move smoothly without stop. This is where in a little a little appreciation of soft style would be good for us. You know, you got hard style, linear arts, wham! Point A, point B as hard as I can, lockout, tension, smash stuff. And then you've got your flowy sort of always moving slowly but and never stopping now in a, in a lot of those arts where they they do slow exercises of course if they were fighting they wouldn't fight in slowly right but as a, as a a way of of training uh that is a good thing to be able to do that that soft style kind of uh movement uh you know and you know i think that has sort of a philosophical underpinning too that you can't solve every problem the same way right like you have to be able to smash through stuff and impose your will um but that like i think we know from experience that doesn't always work right sometimes you need a, need a, a softer uh, approach in your uh tool bag so 
let's work on that slow motion thing. Now, the other kind of drill I want to show you is a speed form. And I remember being a kid and they would have, I totally thought this was awesome. I'd be at a test and like they'd bring black belts out to do stuff. And I remember the grown up black belts would come out and often they would demonstrate the speed form, which is a form I uh, subsequently learned that I think that, and, and they were serious about it. Like they kept track of like the, the record and your personal record and how fast you could do it. And I think these guys were doing the form, I want to say like 10 seconds or something. Um, and of course the, the technique is going to be pretty awful, but we recognize that at the outset. We just say, okay, we don't, we don't need the technique to be good when we do the speed form, but we're trying to just move through all the, the, the correct positions. As long as it, as, as it approximates uh, that technique and somebody could look at it and say, yeah, I guess that's a, a middle block or whatever. Um, without locking out and focusing just to, 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 to all the way through. One thing for sure, well, if you always train that way, you know, lots of bad habits, uh, of course, you, you would develop, but you will, by testing yourself on the speed form, find out if you actually know your form or not, right? If you can't do the speed form, to me, you don't know it. You might kind of know it, uh, like in, in your brain, but to like get that, patterned into your like nervous system no you don't really own that thing unless you can do the speed form so all right so let me show you like what kind of technique we're talking about here probably a bad idea to keep socks on the wood floor and do the speed form that's like you know they don't want to see us at the hospital right now so okay uh so i'm here <clears throat> And I'm going to begin the speed form, and I'm going to just show you the first few moves of this of this form are drop punch, low block, and a square stance, hook punch. So I'm going to go square stance, low block, punch, and then I'm going to do the lunge punch technique and back. But if I'm doing the speed form, I'm here. all of that is terrible but you notice that I have zero hesitation so when you are at a point with a form where you think yeah I got this um, a way to see if you really got it do the speed form see if you have to stop or slow down at any point if you do that's just telling you you need more reps uh, on that thing slow and fast training make sure most of your training is the right speed strike and freeze full explosion full stop but then throw in the slow and the fast, a little variety, and to work on those other important attributes. All right, guys.